So here we are about to begin cataract surgery on a 63-year-old patient. Upon initial inspection of the lens through the microscope, we notice that the lens shakes and oscillates in an unusual manner, indicating phacodenesis and likely loose zonules. So I calmly tell the team in the operating room to stand by to get some. The plan is to remove the cataract and place a panoptic toric lens. Initially, we fill the anterior chamber with Occucote and begin our usual capsulorexis with a 25 gauge cystotome. When we attempt to pierce the anterior capsule, there's increased laxity noted with the anterior capsule. We then use Endicoat to fill the anterior chamber. Again, the anterior capsule seems to move away from the cystotome when pressure is applied to create the initial opening in the anterior capsule. As we perform our capsulorexis, we note there is definitely less resistance to pulling on the anterior capsule, which results in a slightly smaller capsulorexis than usual. Hydrodissection is then performed. Then we begin phacoemulsification of the cataract. In order to minimize placing excessive stress on the zonules, after creating the initial groove, viscoelastic is used to fill the anterior chamber. Then instruments are used to crack, then gently rotate the lens in a bimanual fashion. We are able to mobilize the first half of the nucleus, bring it out of the bag, then emulsify it. The second half of the nucleus is then mobilized and emulsified in a similar manner. Before we remove the phaco tip from the eye, we place additional viscoelastic to prevent collapse of the capsular bag and anterior chamber. Next, we begin removal of cortex with the IA tip. But as I see the anterior capsule edge at nine o'clock move centrally as the cortex is aspirated, the decision is made to place more viscoelastic into the eye, remove the eye tip, and then place capsular retractors to support the capsular bag to safely remove the remaining cortex. With the capsule retractors now in place, we can more confidently and safely remove the remaining cortex with less concern about creating zonular dehiscence during this process. Once the cortex has been removed and the posterior capsule polished, a capsular tension ring is inserted to provide more stability for the capsular bag. Then the capsule retractors are removed, the posterior surface of the anterior capsule is polished, and the panoptics lens is gently inserted into the capsular bag. Initially, we try to rotate the IOL into correct alignment with the IA tip, but then realize that this technique will likely cause unwanted stress on the zonules. So ultimately we use Helon Pro Viscoelastic in the anterior chamber and micro instruments instead of the IA tip to gently rotate the panoptics toric into correct alignment. Then once the IOL is in the proper alignment, instead of removing the viscoelastic with the INA, we flush the Helon Pro from the eye with BSS through 27 gauge cannulas. At the conclusion of the case, the panoptics central optic appears centered with the Lumerity microscope lights and the case is concluded. The next day, this is the appearance of the implant in the eye with the patient's pupil in its natural state. The central optic of the panoptics is inside the pupil but slightly decentered toward the eight o'clock position there is trace pseudophacodenesis. The vision on post-op day one is as follows. Looking at his left eye today, we notice similar degree of phacodenesis to the right eye. So we asked the patient some questions during his post-op day one exam. So you're one day out and yep. we put a panoptics lens in your right eye. Yes. And I've told you the lens is in there it's slightly off center, but it's the center, the center of the lens is within your pupil. So you yeah. see, well, describe how you see. Well, I, I see pretty well. I mean, I, I, I see pretty, 
pretty well out of that eye. I don't see anything weird. I can see your face and, and see it well. I can see the woman behind you well. And it, we're only 20, 24 hours out. So, and you can see up close to Reed? Uh, I'd need to try. I'd need to try. I have, well, no, yes, I can. Because your assistant gave me something to read, yeah. And do you see anything unusual, like shadowing or no. glowing or no. distortion to your to your right eye vision no. at all? No. Oh, good. Yeah. And your eye's comfortable? Yeah. Do you get the sense that when you look around and you move your eye that... It's moving? Yeah. No. Got it. So I think some of that is you're adapted to that. So when we look at your left eye, the lens shakes as well. Right. So you're you're kind of accustomed to that too. Maybe. Um, and you. I were, guess. Yeah. I, yeah. Probably. I mean, it seems like it's probably been that way my whole life. Got it. So we successfully put in a panoptics lens in your right eye, despite what we call phacodenesis and now pseudo phacodenesis, which is a lens implant that shakes, and we're gonna do your left eye as yeah. well. Yeah. And we'll try. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other comments? Uh, I'm glad this is happening. <laughs> Cause I couldn't see my right eye was useless before. Yeah. So I'm, I'm game if you're game. Okay. We'll do our best. Thank you. Yeah. Now, some of the ophthalmologists watching this video might be thinking to themselves, Oh, I'd never place a trifocal, a multifocal, or an extended depth of focus implant into a patient with loose annuals because that lens might decenter. And it might, but then it might not. And if it stays relatively well centered, then the patient might continue to see great without glasses for the rest of their life. And if it does happen to decenter, then we're familiar with techniques to rescue the lens and recenter it using sutures. Or, worst case scenario, we can explant the lens and secure a monofocal lens via intrascleral haptic fixation. So, we're familiar with management of issues of decentration of lenses and how to fix it. But for now, this patient seems to see well and they're happy with their vision. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video.